Hello and welcome to Age of Empires 2 HD. This is on the Forgotten Expansion and I'm going away uh, home for a few days so I thought I'd go and make a video before I go away to type people over. So I don't actually remember when this actually came out but the battle is off to Forgotten. There's quite a few of them. Um, so we have York. Not sure what battle that is. Uh, and then maybe Vikings and stuff, or Saxons and versus Anglo. Yeah, Saxons versus someone. Uh, we have. I've not heard of any of the others. Although I've not really heard that one either. Uh, Cyprus as well. I don't really know. But we'll we will start with York. Or shall we start? Let's start with, yeah, let's start with York, just because I want to sort of recognise some of the things. Uh, although this one is the earliest date, so that's 648, so it's very early. That'll be well before the Spanish and things, so that'll be some uh, complicated Inca versus mines or something like that. Anyway, so as usual, no... Uh, voiceover for that. Let's get in here. Okay, we shall do the usual cheats uh, so that everyone can see the mirror that looks crazy. There lies our target, the fortified city of York. We are too few to attack it. We must find a suitable location to make camp and await the arrival of the main army. So yeah, this will be Vikings versus Anglo-Saxons or whatever. Um, so Marco, Bolo. Um, because obviously York is known for being very um, my lord we are there I think on let's quickly go oh no we can't let's make haste to make camp uh, so yeah I see so what is our construction build a town centre barracks and market and five houses at any of the one any of the, any one of the five campsites marked on map by flags instead of Secondary camp, instead of founding a camp at one of the occupied locations, you should attack the monastery on the Isle of Man and set up your camp there. So, uh, it says there's flags. For some reason, I seem to be lagging. Why am I lagging so much? Um, so, there are monasteries. Uh, Isle of Man. Uh, with all these. Is it all fish? It is a lot of fish. All this fish are rather covering the map, so I can't really see what's going on. Well, the Isle of Man is over here. This thing here. Um, so we shall try to head over there. So in our boat we have uh, one berserk. One Huskar, one Throwing Axeman, two Villagers. And in the other boat we have pretty much the same. A Berserker, Huskar, two Villagers and Jarl. Who sounds very much like Huskar, but not. He's just a Viking. Viking Marauder or something like that. A palace. Interesting. It's kind of nice, but that's a lot of castles. Uh, so yeah, that's obviously York. So there's a castle and a fortress, and another castle, and another castle, and another castle. And a bunch of keeps, and a fortified tower. Interesting, lots of fortified towers. Crikey! That's quite scary looking. Uh, let's also go and speed up the game speed. Uh, so that doesn't take forever for a boat to get all around. And lots of monasteries. So we have Mercia, Wessex, Northumbria, Munster, Unil, Strathclyde, East Anglia, and me, Newport. So this is York, and then this is Scotland and Glasgow, and then... So this is the entire British Isles and Ireland into one. So this bit here is the Isle of Man going off geography, so that is really hard to see that that's an island with all this 
fish in this bit here. Um, no, there's a bridge there, so we won't be able to make it across. What's this interesting stuff? That looks really cool with the destroyed archery range and barracks and stable as well. Not just these normal ruins. Really cool. So these battles of the forgotten seem one of the most interesting things about it. However, as usual, being one of the forgotten things, the villagers don't tend to do very much. They kind of just stand there. And then we've got the trade cards going around back and forth. There aren't many troops. Mercia seems to be have the highest score. Considering it doesn't do anything. There are a lot of monasteries as well with lots of relics. I guess it's all gold which Vikings used to pillage. My ship seems to be getting stuck on things, which is not good. So there's another fortified tower, a couple of galleys. So, we knew uh, all these people, and then this is Munster, so, Ireland, two Ireland, so a Northern Ireland and a Normal Ireland, I guess, and then we've got uh, Isle of Man, who also seems to be Irish, um, they would have all been Picts, I think, at this time, because Anglo-Saxons were only south of like England kind of thing. And I should have just stopped. Good. This is a pretty massive map. Um, so we shall attempt to land here. And take out one men at arms, two skirmishers, no, two men at arms, two skirmishers, two spearmen and a monk. Plenty of deer, plenty of other stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can take. So I'm not really sure where these flags were, which we apparently could have taken. Oh, there's a flag there. So we could have set, very set out stuff, basic resources and stuff. No sheep, however. No sheep on any of it. Um, this also has a fortified tower there. And a dock down there with some more things defending it. Mm. Let's see, do well, I should get attacked. Doesn't look like it. It's got a six range. That's got eight range. So those fortified towers don't actually have very much range. And they're all getting stuck on things, which is not good. Let's just land on the beaches. So Strathclyde. Interesting. So there's a few, only a few feudal age. Strathclyde and Uniel, I'm probably saying that terribly, um, but they're the only ones with any, well they're the only ones in the feudal age, so we probably do not need them now. Oh, a Jarl is a Tarkan. Hmm, interesting. So, us girls can probably take out of them. Them. You can take out him. Jarl seems pretty crazy. And you can go and kill Spearman. I am getting converted, which is not a good... Oh, what What on earth? He looks like he's a range... Yes, he's got four range. He's a throwing axeman on a Tarkan. What even is that? Okay, well, let's set up our town center somewhere. I guess here. It's not in range of that because that's in six range. I also don't reckon. It's a shame that this monastery is house to neither treasure nor relics, but this promontory would be a good location for a castle. Um, not sure why you need a castle there, but we get a castle anyway. Okay, well that's kind of nice of you to do that. We shall kill off uh, people with our boats. Hopefully no boats get created from there. They're doing a good job at missing. 10 out of 10 misses. 
uh, get what's getting by them. They've got 8 plus 1 range because they're castle age and look like they've got fletching on them. And I guess these guys shall. Okay, let's get our villages up. Oh, we need houses. Oh yeah, we need five houses, don't we? Because they're... Oh, he's a range unit, so we don't want him there. Otherwise he'll die. So that has... Eight damage, so it's... Not too high. They should eventually take care of that. And these can go... Oh, never mind, that's already dead. Awesome. And now we should be able to get some villagers. Now, what can we do? What happens if we put a random guy on a boat? They stick Mr. Throwing Axeman on a boat and send him across to this rubble. Fortified wall. Okay, that is actually fortified wall, and it be doesn't belong to anyone. So, do I guess I will get these fortified walls if I go near them? He's kind of cool. It would give me a bit of sight. I'm guessing this is meant to be Hadrian's wall, actually, um, which was Roman. So, okay, that's that tower gone. Cool. If we will want to get a dock of our own out. We also need more houses. Bit annoying. We all need a lot of houses. Okay, houses going up. We all, we all need a dock. Uh, we do not need stone actually, so I don't know why they're getting stone. Stop that this minute. And let's get a dock up so we can take all this insane amount of fish. It's just mental. Do we go and get these walls, please? Give me them. Are they gonna be mine? No, they're just fortified wall. Which is no one, so it's not even Gaia. It's just or some computer player randomly. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Okay, so let's look at our objectives. Uh Okay, so we need Five houses, a market, and a barracks. And then we will get our next objective. We've got plenty of houses. Uh, we need a barracks. And... This will be our fifth house. No, it won't. It will be our seventh house. And a market. Let's go get some wood. Why is there a castle? I have no idea. Does it even have range of there? I guess it is on a hill, so it yeah. can kind of see. I think we should make a lumber camp. And we can perhaps get a lumber camp upgrade. We need lots of wood to go and get this market up, and then we'll see what our next objective is. I could have actually made a market if I wasn't making fishing ships. Maybe not necessary to make fishing ships just yet, or the dock. So we have this random man who could maybe go and kill some trade cards, but let's not bother. Apparently everyone is enemy to us, which is very nice to see, but I guess we are buying it. The amount of fish is kind of annoying, but well, well, it really is annoying because of how much of the map it covers, you can't see. Um, if we turn off some of these things, no, nope. okay, if we show military, we get rid of all the fish. Not the best thing to look at, but it does get rid of all the fish, which is good, because we don't want to see all this silly fish. So I thought so that the 1066 uh, Battle of Conquerors game uh, with uh, William the Conqueror was bad enough with having this much of the UK squished into a map. 
and we have the entire UK, although I think this map is one insane or whatever it's called. Continue building up your base and we'll wait the arrival of the main army. They will be here in 15 minutes. Hmm. So we have to wait for this to get to 35. I may skip this point and continue building up. So I will see you then. Okay, so I'm back and it should be like 30 game time seconds until uh, we get our reinforcements. And I am on my way to the Imperial Age, which is fairly decent. I've heavily used the amount of fish that you get given. Uh, one thing I did notice is you don't get any galleys, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you do get long boats though. Uh, yep, there we go. Looks to see the army has arrived from all the way over here. And they're elite long boats, that's good. Are these elite long boats? No, those are just normal boats. So our next objective is the main army has arrived, there are four ways you can win the scenario. Take vengeance on King Ayla and prove the superiority of the Norse gods. Destroy the palace of the Thumbrian city of York and replace it with its temple. Temple to Odin. Wonder of your own. Wow. It's a wonder. I thought a temple would be a uh, church or whatever. Monastery, that's it. Uh, or capture 15 relics and place them in your monasteries. Brr, I'd rather do one. Accumulate a sum of 50,000 gold. Wear guild for Ragnar's death. That's a lot of gold and could take a long time. Defeat five of your seven enemies. Northumbria, East Anglia, Mercia, Wessex, Strathclyde, Neil and Munster. Secondary objectives. Destroy enemy markets, monasteries, town centre, cathedrals and wonders to loot large sums of gold. Capture enemy relics to supplement your scolding. Okay, so we may do this 50,000 gold one, depending how much gold it is that we go and get for doing it. Um, we will need to go and mine some of this gold, a lot of these things are protecting gold. But I quite like the sound of defeat five or seven enemies. As I can make an army fairly quickly and the AI, even though our score is by far the lowest, doesn't really have anything or is doing anything at all. Like, what are the galleys doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. So I think we shall take out Ireland, we will take out Scotland, and maybe take out York as well. Because that seems rather spread out far away. And there goes our final one. Cool. Um, let us start upgrading our stuff. Uh, I have a lot of idols here. No worry. I shall put another dock down. I don't think we really need farmers, if I'm actually honest, because Jesus, the amount of fish is insane. Right, so we will want to this Massar uh, Berserk to get to Imperial, we shall make them very quickly and we shall make them very difficult. Let's grab these guys and we shall start hitting places. So this place seems nice and undefended so we shall hit here first and just shower them with arrows. I did take off the thing because I thought I may be able to see because I fished out some fish around here. Yeah, not really. Still pretty horrible, yes. We also don't really need to care about it, so let's just stick it back onto military and everything looks not a lot nicer. Uh, we will probably want more castles. Uh, there isn't very much room on this island, which is a shame. We will, however, need that. And we need more houses. So let's grab our villages like a bit now. Which I'm guessing is part of the all the ships. That's what we can do. That's what we don't really want plans just now. We do want this, so we'll save up for that. Once we've got Elite Berserker, we'll start making lots of them and just annihilate the enemy with the last berserkers. Obviously, perhaps our, our blessed are more worth it, more worthwhile. Um, 
so we could go down that route. However, there are a lot of castles and a lot of towers, so I think Berserks probably clear out a civilization a lot more quicker. So, they're getting annihilated. They suck. And we are taking out a trade workshop, so will this give us gold if we do this? Quite possibly, we shall find out. How much gold does doing this give us? We select all of them, attack that, how much gold do we get? None whatsoever. Okay, maybe it's just markets and not trade workshops. Uh, is that the case? Yes, it's just markets. Oh, markets, monasteries, and... So actually nothing that's here. Okay, so we're not going to get any gold or anything from here. Uh, but oh well, we shall still destroy them. Anyway, and then we can head on to here, where we will be able to take down a market and find out how much gold we get. So let's just get that and start upgrading. Oh, need food. Actually need food. Oh my god. Uh, well, this woman here, she can make another dock. Ah, uh, oh, that ship, fishing ship's gone. Oh, I'm getting this shore fish out here. Can we go and get this? No, not yet. We need more food. Lots more food. It is annoying. We actually do need food. And the amount of fishing ships are not helping. Uh, this also does not help with our population. Because uh, we're quite close to it. We're quite close to my population. And where has that woman gone? There, she, there they are. A whole bunch of them. Well, that should do it for... We also want these uh, important eco upgrades. Uh, let's get that anyway. And this needs 300 food, so... Error. There's a blue fishing ship. What is that doing there? Are they actually doing anything? There are a couple of knights. So if you click on um, this. Apparently Wessex just got to the Imperial Age. So they are apparently doing something somewhere. Somehow. Considering they are not actually doing anything anywhere. Other than getting rid of food with these fishing ships. Does food run out? Yes, it will eventually. Okay, fair enough. That's quite a lot of things. So it's split between Goths and Celts. Celts in the north and Ireland, and Goths everywhere else. Uh, although these are also Celts. A random cavalry archer. So, will it be this that we have to destroy it and build a wonder in its place? Lots of markets. Uh, Actually, those are actually too many ones. Never mind, forget I said that. Let's blonk a bunch of them. Oh, someone. Awesome. We advanced to Imperial and Purple advanced to the castle. I don't know how they're doing this, but they're all going to be very easy. Uh, because. So we, I think right now we need to consider landing. We need to get a castle and plonk it down in the enemy's land. So we want one here so we can make lots of Husker, uh, not Husker, I was, uh, Berserkers here. And we want lots of Berserkers here. So let's. These ships are taking too long. Wow. Um. A random yellow monk. Let's got killed by a throwing axeman. Lovely. Oh, an enemy ship is on patrol. Wow, okay. That seems 
strange. But good for you, you're actually going to do something. We need a lot more food. Which is kind of concerning. Oh, I'm slowly getting through all this fish. <laughs> Upgrade that some more. And from this point on, I will not say too much. Um, and I will skip to sort of interesting points. Uh, where I land and destroy people and annihilate people and that kind of stuff. So I'll see you in little clips then. Okay, so this first clip will be me destroying uh, a market to go and find out how much gold we actually go and get from doing this. And whether 30,000 gold is actually doable. 30,000 gold is a hell of a lot. Never have that much in a normal game, so this better be a lot of gold. And it gives us 700 gold, not very much at all in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing that, we're not going to be going for the gold thing. So, it would appear that the Goths and the Celts are at war with each other as this blue ship was attacking the purple, which is kind of nice. Uh, the AI does seem to be doing a few things. There was a bunch of green pipe which walked along here and began to attack my ships, which obviously all died. Uh, we got 2,000 gold from destroying the green town center, which is a reasonable amount of gold, but still not really worthwhile in my eyes. So we are going to land on here and build a castle. Uh, we also probably need to go and do, build a bunch of other things too, um, like a... That. Uh, we are losing our fishing ships. That is not cool. A AI is attacking us. Uh, we probably lost a lot of fishing ships due to that. Uh, not, not, not cool. In the slightest. So we need to go and rebuild all our fishing ships. Which is not cool. We do have a reasonable sized uh, economy now, it's working properly. We do have a lot of idols, which is means I should take back exactly what I was just saying. Mm. Uh, we need to get this to go increase our range and damage of our longboats, so there's quite a lot of things we need to do. Uh, but I am currently going to try and land here, and yes, we have landed here. Time to build a castle. As you can see, um, the green AI is attempting to do stuff. However, this, even though they are also Celts, they also seem to be enemy of purple people. So they are getting killed. Uh, coming to it. I'm not really sure why green are at war with purple. They're both Celts and perhaps they're sort of the same families. I thought, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, but that is interesting to see. So everyone seems to be painful. And I am about to annihilate all of them. I think the Vikings did go and take over. What I'm attacking basically is all the ones that the Vikings actually did take over because obviously the South and Vikings didn't get that down that far. But I would do if the objective didn't end before then. Um, so once this castle goes up, we shall start spamming out our uh, circus. We need to keep on upgrading. We probably do not need gold because we will be gaining gold as we go along from destroying stuff. We should have food from uh, all the fish that we are catching. Uh, we may build docks on the way, so that's a good plan. Uh, we may need stone though, which is a bit of a problem. And the enemy does seem to be creating more 
units they're creating ships um, from these docks so this is a little concerning but not too much of a problem Lots of monks coming up here though. We have a castle up here, which is still pumping out them. Let us start upgrading them more as well. Don't get blast burners, I noticed which is also slightly annoying. We will need to take over a stone mine at some point. So, where are the stone mines on this map? Uh, obviously I cannot see because I have the uh, thing turned off. So it's unlikely to be anywhere around there. But maybe in these villages there is stone. Nope, no stone there. No stone there. I will be sticking all these men. Except I sent the... Actually, no, I'll keep them. I'll keep them here. We can now start to attack. Okay, we got a thousand gold for destroying something. Monastery. Okay, a thousand gold for a monastery. Two thousand gold for a... Um, town center. And 700 gold for a market. Good to know. Where is our transport ship? There it is. Actually, no, we decided we weren't going to do any that after I just said that just a second ago. We're going to put more villages to go across to the other side and make a base over there. But we do not have the stone to go and make more castles, so we'll maybe do that later. These guys are pretty tanky and I'm regaining health so it's not too big a problem that they're getting hit slowly. We don't actually need this, I don't think. Do these upgrades? Yes, they have upgrades as well, that's good. Uh, in some of the old campaigns, they did not upgrade with um, because they had sort of different uh, setup, like they were different unit ID or something. So when you upgraded your unit, they, they wouldn't do it for them. Now there is some rock of cashel. This could be a bit too tricky to take down, but nothing a huge, huge mass of Zerg's can't handle. Oh, we still need to be massive these guys. Spammy, 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 spammy. Oh, I'm out of food. Let's move these because they're being useless right there. And I'm losing all my fishing ships. This encampment is about to go down. And we may kill our first player soon. So maybe I'll catch up and I've done that. Time. 